Breaking news. Man who strangled ex-girlfriend during sex gets 14 years in prison. Romario Brown, the man who is currently serving time for killing fashion designer, Dexter Pottinger, has been sentenced for the killing of his ex-girlfriend who was strangled during sexual intercourse. Brown, a 24-year-old tattoo artist from Stony Hill, St. Andrew, pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of manslaughter in relation to the death of 20-year-old Alexia Bapat. On Wednesday, Supreme Court Judge, Justice Crescencia Brown Beckford, ordered the convict to serve 14 years and 10 months for manslaughter. Prosecutors alleged that in 2016, Bapat and Brown were engaged in sexual intercourse when an argument developed. He then squeezed her throat and kicked her off the bed. Brown then fled the scene with Bapat's phone and a laptop belonging to her then-boyfriend. However, he was seen on video footage leaving Bapat's apartment in Mona, St. Andrew, with the items. Following a probe, the tattoo artist was arrested and charged with murder and simple larceny. A post-mortem report indicated that Bapat died as a result of strangulation. The sentence for Bapat's killing is to begin after Brown serves his 12-year prison term for manslaughter, arising from Pottinger's killing. The fashion designer's body was found with over 20 stab wounds at his Yariko Place home in St. Andrew in the late afternoon of August 31, 2017. According to police blotters, Brown stabbed Pottinger at the latter's home after the fashion designer suddenly appeared naked before him with an erect penis while the two were at the dwelling. Pottinger was reportedly stabbed some 25 times all about his body. The killing reportedly took place on August 29, 2017, the same day Pottinger bailed Brown for the murder of Bapat. Brown claimed to have known Pottinger for only a week before their fatal, final encounter. After the killing, Brown took Pottinger's motor vehicle, a television set and a watch from the home. The police later recovered the vehicle and subsequently, the other stolen items from Brown. On April 10, 2019, Brown pleaded guilty to manslaughter in relation to Pottinger's death, as well as to larceny from the dwelling and simple larceny. A month later, he received a sentence of 12 years for manslaughter, 4 years for larceny from the dwelling, and a year for simple larceny. The sentences were to run concurrently. Breaking news. Holness meets with family of slain. Prime Minister Andrew Holness is among 40 world leaders invited by United States President Joe Biden to a virtual climate summit. The event, entitled the Leaders Summit on Climate, is to be held on April 22 and 23. Further, it is to be live streamed for the public, the White House informed via a statement on Friday. Besides Holness, the only other Caribbean leader invited to the summit by Biden is Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown. Other world leaders sent an invitation to attend the virtual summit include Xi Jinping, President of China, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, Emmanuel Macron, President of France, Angela Merkel, German Chancellor, Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, and Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The White House informed that the event is to feature the reconvening of the U.S.-led Major Economies Forum on Energy and Climate, which brings together 17 countries responsible for approximately 80% of global emissions and global GDP. The president also invited the heads of other countries that are demonstrating strong climate leadership, are especially vulnerable to climate impacts, or are charting innovative pathways to a net-zero economy, the statement said, adding that, a small number of business and civil society leaders will also participate in the summit. Biden, in his invitation, urged leaders to use the summit as an opportunity to outline how their countries also will contribute to stronger climate ambition. As per the White House, the leaders' summit on climate will underscore the urgency and the economic benefits of stronger climate action and will be a key milestone on the road to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, this November in Glasgow. Among the five key themes of the summit are 1. Galvanizing efforts by the world's major economies to reduce emissions during this critical decade to keep a limit to warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius within reach. 2. Mobilizing public and private sector finance to drive the net zero transition and to help vulnerable countries cope with climate impacts. 3. The economic benefits of climate action, with a strong emphasis on job creation, and the importance of ensuring all communities and workers benefit from the transition to a new clean energy economy. 
4. Spurring transformational technologies that can help reduce emissions and adapt to climate change, while also creating enormous new economic opportunities and building the industries of the future. 5. Showcasing subnational and non-state actors that are committed to green recovery and an equitable vision for limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, and are working closely with national governments to advance ambition and resilience. 5. Discussing opportunities to strengthen capacity to protect lives and livelihoods from the impacts of climate change, address the global security challenges posed by climate change and the impact on readiness, and address the role of nature-based solutions in achieving net zero by 2050 goals.